about that? How about that? A uh, big welcome, or should we say bienvenidos? Bienvenidos. Oh. Thank you. Yes, Gracias. yes, to uh, <laughs> Chef Antonio Marquez from uh, La Saranda Modern La Kitchen. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you Good for to being see here. you again. I just started a little bit with the chicken here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's my thing with the chicken. Instead yeah. of cutting it or instead of cooking it like in the whole breast, you've taken it and sliced it up beforehand. Is it yeah. just to cook it faster yeah, or is it's, it? It's for doing faster. I mean, I, I actually okay. brought one like this. So and you, you want can to do, do it? So either one. Yeah. Okay. And this re recipe is so simple, but it's like a fall recipe for this kind of weather. Okay, love it. So you will see it. It's very, very so easy. You've got the chicken, the chicken cooking a little bit of oil and butter. Okay. Then you just add some a little bit of onions, a little bit of garlic. And then some mushrooms here. Oh. And I was telling uh, the guys that uh, you have to cook the mushrooms real quick. They have to be crispy, not... Uh, crispy, okay. Yeah, they don't have to overcook the, the mushrooms. And what kind of mushrooms? Uh, you can use white mushrooms or brown mushrooms. Okay. And then chipotle. This is a chipotle paste. It's just a uh, blended chipotle. Okay. This is uh, up to your uh, <laughs> uh, spices. How yeah. How, yeah. Like how, how many okay. chili you like or spiciness. And then you can just add uh, a little bit of fresh cream or whipping cream or oh, sour okay. cream, any cream you want. Oh. That's what makes cream in this, uh, this dish. Then just, uh, just a oh, little bit of water. Just a little bit. You can, you can put like, uh, for example, uh, uh, some uh, chicken broth or you can put a white wine on this one. But this recipe is so easy and so simple and very fast to finish it. And then we're going to add some, done. some green we're tomatoes. Done. Oh, green tomatoes. And these green tomatoes, they give a consistency very, very, very nice to this plate. Let me show you how it looks when you have finished this. You can just leave it there for a little bit, one minute. Yeah, and you're going to do rice with this? Just, yeah, okay. just a little bit of rice here. Uh, just, uh, we have here some very nice rice here. This is some butter. So quick. Very quick. <laughs> I know. <laughs> very quick. Wow. And then and nice. we have okay. some uh, cilantro here. Okay. So we're going to take some fresh cilantro. We're gonna put some fresh cilantro here. Okay. And this is this is ready. This, and that's it. That's it. Just as quick as that. And you can, I mean, prepare this for like a big family or something. Mm -hmm. And at the end, this is like a, the, the the fall thing. Oh, what are you gonna stick in there? Some, some pecans? Yes. Yeah, some. Pecans? This is our walnuts. Walnuts. Okay. Yeah, some walnuts. walnuts here. And then. I never would have thought to do that. That looks great. You just go to your plate, and that's it. It's a very simple recipe, fall recipe. Very. This is a very Mexican. Uh, a kind of a winter recipe for the cold. Now you guys are right at the Tollway and Beltline, right yes, there yeah, in Addison. In Addison, yes. Right there on the corner. So mm -hmm. right, when you, right when you hop on Beltline, you can see you guys sitting right there. So and you got the little outdoor area, which I know we're probably not going to use today. <laughs> today it's getting a little chilly. Yeah, today and tomorrow, no. But, uh, but, uh, but beautiful it, yeah, inside, though. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, yes. it's a fun little place to go. Yeah, and it's a hopping <laughs> neighborhood, obviously, and uh, that is just a terrific recipe. So and, and you're also known for your tequila. Oh yeah, we have a lot of tequila. Some people are afraid of tequila. Yeah, I mean. If you Bad drink, things happen when you, principal gets near a bottle of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink the right amount, I mean, it's always good. And to be honest with you, we have more brands here than we, ha we do have in our restaurants in Mexico. It's unbelievable. Here we really? have a very, yeah. very huge tequila. It's becoming a very trendy yes. drink, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And mezcal, too. I don't know if you're familiar with mezcal, which is the same thing. Right. But it, uh, tequila has to be from Guadalajara, and mezcal is from Oaxaca. Okay. It's okay. just because the uh, certified of origin. Right. But it's the same, the same process. Just like an Italian wine has to yes. come from the same yes. place. Yes, yes, yes. Makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. your bar guys, I know that they go in there, and they can, they can kind of school you in what it is that you need to know about oh, the, different, you, you the different drinks that are there. So yeah. definitely something to check out. All right. Thank you so much. We've got this recipe. We'll put a link on our website, myfoxdfw.com. Try it at home. It's really, really good. Yeah, and easy. Love it.